mighty dragon. Thou art a true born heir. Lend me thy strength, O kindred. Deliver me unto greater heights. Well...
Hello? Is someone there? My name is Hayata. And I'm journeying in search of the distant light. If I might be so bold as to ask, would you donate any Shabriri grapes in your possession to me? My eyesight has been weak since birth, you see. I can't tell which way I'm supposed to go next. But when I eat one of those grapes, I can feel a distant light in the back of my eyes. It will lead me to my true duty as a finger maiden. Hello? Would you donate any them on a pilgrimage? And when I eat one... Don't you? Then perhaps you could spare some runes. Believe it or not, I studied Blintstone sorceries at the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. For a small donation, I'd be happy to share my knowledge. Well, bless you, bless you. You're a true saint. My name is Topes. Presuming you're interested, I can teach you sorceries as promised. Only. None of them are particularly great. Thank you, kind soul, for learning my poultry sorceries. I never imagined that a bluntstone like myself would have the chance to play teacher. Apologies, friend. I'm afraid my meager sorceries are no match for your generosity. Oh, right. I can tell you what I know about this place. That should help a bit. You've seen that structure to the north, towering over the water. That's the Academy of Rhea Lucaria, where we study glintstone sorceries. Only its doors have been closed for quite some time now. After they declared they wouldn't interfere with the shattering, the Academy cast repelling seals on the east gate leading to the capital, and the south gate leading here. As you might have guessed, the seals are still active making entry to the Academy impossible without a glintstone key. And so I'm stuck here. A fledgling sorcerer with little chance of acquiring a key. When they cast the seals, I'd just popped out. And now I'm uprooted from my place of learning. Why not find yourself a glintstone key? Without one, you can't pass through the Academy. And you'll never reach the Erdtree capital. And if you find an extra glintstone key, perhaps, once you've tied up all your loose ends. And I can be very patient. Would you consider donating it to me? I know it. I'm a bluntstone. Merely a hint of talent for sorcery. But still, my place is at the Academy. Find yourself a glintster without one, and you'll never... You've taken an apprenticeship with Selen. Well, that is something. Selen was well known. The most promising sorceress in the history of the Academy. I followed her at school. But there may as well have been an ocean between us. But Selen was expelled from the Academy. Accused of unthinkable treatment of certain sorcerers. Under the name of the Graven Witch. I still don't believe the accusations. The illustrious Selen would never do such things. Find yours without one, and you will never... Do you uh, remember me? Bok, the demi-human. You helped me before, 
and retrieved my sewing needle. Please, master, allow me to serve you as your seamster. I can't make nothing from scratch, but I'm happy to make adjustments to your garments. Master, I was wondering, do you ever make adjustments to your garb yourself? I would, well, rather you let me do the job when possible, please. I don't ask anything in return, you know, and, well, I am your personal seamster after all. Oh, going so soon? Uh, please do be safe on your journeys. of ends, eh? Until it was shattered, the tragic corruption of the Order has taken its toll. Across the realm, life lies in ruin, fallen to pieces. Foul curses and misery spread, unabating. But the greater will has not abandoned the realm, nor the life that inhabits it. So it is that the tarnished are guided by grace, called to act, brave tarnished. Your great rune is a handsome shard of the Elden Ring. Seek another of its kind to become Elden Lord and restore the Golden Order. Let the words of the fingers guide you. Well, well, I see. 
The remembrance of gold has found its way into your possession. Demigods and even the crater of the champions are hewn by the Earth Tree upon their end into remembrances. They are valuable indeed. These remembrances yet house the power of their former masters. And should you wish to wield that same power, well, I will lend you the strength of the fingers. Oh, do not recoil from my offer. The fingers guide us all, and you tarnish. You are here to take, are you not? Ah, great runes are the stuff of demigods. The children of the goddess, Queen Marika. She who is vessel of the Elden Ring. Tainted by the strength of their runes, her children warred, but none could become Elden Lord. And so grace was extended to your kind, the tarnished. Listen, the fingers speak. The greater will has long renounced the demigods. Tarnished. Show no mercy. Have their heads. Take all they have left. Indeed. But remember one thing. The demigods are each and all the direct offspring of Queen Marika. Godric the Grafted was but a distant relation. The runt of the litter. His divine blood sorely diluted. Now go forth. Let the words of the fingers guide you. Greetings. Nice to see you again. My name is Roderica. I should have told you sooner. Isn't this place impressive though? The round table hold. Covert quarters of the two fingers. And gathering place of champions who vie to become Elden Lord. I never knew the guidance bestowed upon us tarnished had such fantastic roots. Although... It's all a bit much for me, in truth. I'm still looking for my own purpose. It's all a bit much for me. I'm still looking. Be sure to tell me she's a servant to my... She's been my... I've lost count of the number of... Oh. Ah, well then. May the golden... Again, I thought you'd receive a summons to the round table. Nefeli Lu, we met at Stormvale. I'm glad to see you here. I have something for you. I found it in Godric's grafting grounds. You defeated him. You should have it. Make good use of it. I don't intend to make a habit of scavenging corpses. Ah, yes. I wonder if you've met my foster father. He's in his study. The room enters guarding just over there. If you haven't already, I advise you introduce yourself. Father is leader of the round table. I'm sure talking to him will be worth your while. It's about time I headed off. I'll see you again, warrior, should the fates deign it. It's about time I'll see you again, warrior.
received the wisdom of the Two Fingers, have you not? Then, just as promised, I bid you welcome. As a true member of the Round Table, I am known as Gideon Ofnir. As a tarnished who wishes to stand before the Elden Ring and become Elden Lord, I am accumulating knowledge to be all-knowing. You now belong to a select group of fellows. As such, I ask that you remain constant. You'll be after more great runes now, eh? Then as your fellow, allow me to divulge a little knowledge. The inheritors of the great runes, the shard bearers. We of the round table know the location of five of them, including the one you defeated. Godric the Grafted, Lord of Stormvale. General Radan, who fought Melania and her rot to a standstill in the Caelid Wilds. Praetor Rykard, Lord of the Volcano Manor of Mount Gelmir. Morgoth, the Grace Given, Veiled Monarch and Lord of Lame Dell. And Renala, Queen of the Full Moon, ruler of Rhea Lucaria's Academy. You'll still be after more great runes. Won't you? So, Godric the Grafted, Lord of Stormvale. Despite being the blood of Godfrey, first Elden Lord, he's a grotesque old fool grasping for power. His castle lies upon the cliff to Lindgrave's northwest, but I suspect you know that well enough already. General Radan, the famed Red Lion and Scourge of the Stars, is a ferocious warrior. He fought Melania and her rot to a standstill in the Caelid Wilds to Limgrave's east. And now Caelid has been engulfed by the Scarlet Rot. Even approaching the region is no mean feat. I've heard survivors of Radan's army are still in the wilds, staving off the rot with fire. And if it's true, I suspect Radan is still there as well, in Kaelid. Though, I doubt he much resembles his former self anymore. Praetor Rykard is the lord of the Volcano Manor on Mount Gelmir. He is a ruthless justicia who commands a company of inquisitors, reviled for his serpentine demeanor. The volcano, Mount Gelmir, lies in the west of the Altus Plateau, the realm of the Erd Tree. It was the stage of the most appalling battle in the entirety of the Shattering. Rykard has committed the grave sin of blasphemy, marking himself as an enemy never to be forgiven. Morgoth the Grace given is Lord of Landell, the capital city. It lies at the foot of the Erd Tree, in the east of the Altus Plateau. But the Two Fingers forbid us from venturing there until we've acquired enough great runes to repair the Elden Ring. Set your sights elsewhere for the time being. The Veiled Monarch can wait. The Academy of Rhea Lucaria lies to Limgrave's north, towering over the mist-laden lands of Lyernia. Renala is queen of the Carian royals, who govern the Academy. But Renala herself is no demigod. Her beloved, Radagon, left her to become Queen Marika's second husband, taking the title of King Consort. The Great Rune dwells within the Amber Egg. That was Radagon's gift to her. I understand you've been speaking to Nefeli. She's my daughter. I took her in when she lost the Guidance of Grace. Though a mere axe-wielding barbarian, her youthful credulity suited my purposes. So I put her to work. Do not hesitate to employ her. Should her services benefit you? Despite her looks, she is more than capable in the press of battle. It's about time I had... I'll see you again. Did you need? Ah, we meet again after all.
I apologize for any offense given by my bearing, but I'm quite unable to move, you see. So, what do you need? Ah, you defeated Godric and claimed yourself a great rune. Mm. Looks like we both got what we wanted out of Stormvale, didn't we? Well done, friend. Something to mark the occasion. Go on, take it. As you might have guessed, I still can't move. My fighting days are behind me. No need to be polite. I've no use for it anymore. The misshapen corpse on the storm veil. That is a sacred relic of the Black Knives plot, as that famed night of assassination is known. It happened during the golden age of the Erd Tree, long before the shattering of the Elden Ring. Someone stole a fragment of the Rune of Death from Maleketh, the Black Blade, and on a bitter night, murdered Godwin the Golden. That was the first recorded death of a demigod in all history, and it became the catalyst. Soon, the Elden Ring was smashed, and thus sprang forth the war known as the Shattering. I once wished to become a scholar, you see. I've spent many an hour scouring the archives for knowledge of that fateful plot. The world has grown crooked, and if you intend to put it to rights, you'd better understand what happened to make it this way. Hmm? And that thing is to blame for the shape I'm in now. I urge the utmost caution. Don't disturb the corpse more than necessary. Ah, so you've met D. D is an old friend. We found ourselves journeying together for a time, bound by our exploration of death. But our paths have since diverged, never again to cross. Though that's hardly an uncommon fate for two friends. Something else. Are you acquainted with a man named Roger? You know, the piteous fellow hiding away on the balcony. He was a formidable spellblade in times past. Don't let his easy air deceive you. He was wise beyond his years, stout of heart and clear of mind. No more, though. You see him now. Ravaged by thorns, muttering and rambling, like he's half dead already. I can't stomach to watch. Take well the lesson, friend. That's how you end up when seduced by those who live in death. When grace is sullied, it rots people from the inside. Breaks them. Oh, still need something? Dee was telling me that he discovered the mark of the centipede. The centipede is an ancient symbol of the curse mark. As long as whoever finds and uses it is not nefarious by nature, then we may be able to form an alliance. If only I could speak to them in person, and if they were like you, all the better. you need something else. I am pleased to see you again. Would you like me to hold you? Once more? Now, come closer. You are so very warm. My dear, 
Have you ever heard of Black Knife Prince? Dear Roger likes to talk of them when abed. And the ancient plot in which the first of the demigods was slain. The black knives wielded by the assassins who committed the act, along with the impressions they made, somehow hide the truth of the conspiracy. These grand affairs are hardly my forte, but dear Roger began to weep as he spoke. In truth, I've heard tell from someone else about the Black Knife Prince that fascinate dear Roger so. But it wouldn't be right to give this to him, stuck as he is in the round table hole. Perhaps you could make use of it? Blessing, would you like to now? You are so dear, Roger, the ancient, the black, kn along with the dear, Ro the ancient plot, the black knives, along with the then good day to you. a bit much for me, in truth. I'm still looking for my own purpose. You're telling me I possess some kind of gift? I don't believe you. But if I do have this talent, and goodness knows it would be my first, I suppose I should try to hone it, shouldn't I? I'll ask Master Hugh to teach me. Certainly, he does appear intimidating and holds no love for us tarnished. But I know he's trapped here at the round table hold, so I can tell. He's a gentle soul underneath it all. If I do have a talent for spirit tuning, then goodness knows that would be a surprise. I suppose I should try to hone it, shouldn't I? I'll ask Master Hugh to teach me. already. No matter. Lay out your arms. The girl. What about her? Are you out of your mind? You'd stay with an ugly brute who only knows how to smith. Absurd. Besides, she'd never agree to it. I refuse to believe it. I don't doubt you, but I know when something's too good to be true. If 
I do have a talent, I suppose I'll ask Matt. Back all no matter. Be sure to tell me she's a servant to me. She's been my companion. Lost count. Always good to see so. again. Thank you very much. I have you to thank, don't I, for persuading Master Hugh. I can happily announce that he has taught me the noble toil of spirit tuning. I'm as yet unsure of what I might be able to accomplish, but if I might be able to help you all, I'd certainly like to try. And if there's any chance to ease the suffering of my dear men who were grafted, well, I certainly must try. Roderica, the Spirit Tune Apprentice. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Huh. You, is it? I didn't notice you there. I'll be doing my job, same as ever. Just lay out your arms. Those words were not meant for you. I may be prisoner to you, tarnished lot, but my prayers are mine, and mine alone. Well, I've had my say. I'll be more careful, too. I spoke with the girl. She has a gift for spirit tuning. So I told her everything I know. I'm indebted to a spirit tuner I met long ago. It was all I could do to honor her. I'm sorry I doubted you. to see you safe. Here to learn a battle art or two. Well.
There you are, my apprentice. Shall we commence the lesson? begin my search post haste for a true and stalwart lord of the proper lineage to take the reins of Nimgrave. I must begin my search for a true Always good to see son.
blessing. Would you like the blessing? Would you like now? You are so dear, Roger Ancient, the Black Knight, along with thee. Then good day to you. 